Welcome to my channel Vijay Mentoring. In this channel, I make videos for helping job seekers crack job interviews. In this episode, I am going to talk about the role of uh, perception, and that I am going to talk about my own personal experience and how I suffered because of somebody else's perception or paradigm problems. I went for an interview. This is after I took a retirement from the Indian Navy. My age was 46 plus. The role was that of a trading manager in an IT company. I was fit for that role. I had the necessary qualifications and also the experience in the Navy because in the Navy I had done uh, IT related work. And training is something which we do regularly in uh, any role in the defense services. selected by my functional head the one who is the head of the training for the entire uh, all locations of the company in india so i was selected i was told to join the company's location in uh, delhi because my vacancy was there in the delhi office but fortunately for me the delhi office center head saw my resume saw my age 46 years or oh, an old man saw my previous employment or oh, defense military military means he will be very strict with people he will be very conscious about his role that he is a commander in the indian navy and therefore he may not be amenable to be very close to the people with him i mean people come for training he'll keep his distance he'll probably sit in his cabin there and as a result uh, of that thinking he told my functional head no i do not want to accept this person in my center because we are basically catering for a young population it people and we don't have any hierarchy uh, generally everybody calls each other by first name and someone coming from a defense background may not be suitable for my company my center but functional head had seen my resume had interviewed me and seen what sort of person i was and he was not suffering from any of this perception related problems and he was adamant that no i must be recruited so in the tussle between the functional head and the center head of the location my appointment order was delayed by 2 months so i joined finally but this man will not talk to me he was very cold to my uh, the dealings with me he will not cooperate with me so i asked him something what is required for doing training he said he used to say okay go and ask your boss the training head it was a miserable life for about 2 months because he was operating from his paradigm that i been forced upon him despite his uh, apprehensions so i kept on working i was friendly with all people i did not suffer from any uh, ego related problems that i am a commander and i am talking to i am age 46 with 23 years of experience i am talking to a fresher who is just an engineer or somebody who is an it company who is maybe a project manager with 10 years of experience i had no such problems because i knew that they are there for their uh, based on their experience and their expertise i am here based on that and my role as a training manager was to help people get the required training as per the company's requirements and as a person i was very friendly also i had no ego problems so he asked me for two months and after two months he realized that yes he was under a perception that i am not suitable for it and nice of him that he corrected his mistake if i can call it a mistake because these mistakes are done by all people every one of us suffer from such problems based on our own experiences like if you have seen some military person who is very strict will not to talk to so called civilians in a polite manner we think that everyone in the military is like that we think that somebody very conscious about his rank we think that everyone it is not the case it is not the case in any profession so this problem can happen even at the interview stage itself if i go not so neatly dressed to an interview 
the interview i think that i am taking the interview very casually i am not serious about the work maybe that i did not have enough clothes to wear my clothes were old and comes across as some casual dresser i may have a very heavy mother tongue influence in my english language so it's somebody might think that i am not suitable because if i talk in front of clients and the clients will feel very bad about my english but english accent is something which can be corrected even after training if i'm recruited based on my intellect which is required for that role if i'm an analyst i should be able to do analysis properly because that is something which cannot be taught that easily but language can be taught accent can be neutralized dress sense can be improved but unfortunately people make an impression in the very first stage of interview itself and based on that they reject or sometimes if it is positive they select so what can we do in order to not to fall prey to such things from our side what is required is okay dressing is required have a one particular dress as per the company's norms to so use that dress in every interview because if you don't have enough money to have multiple dresses one dress is good enough If you have got heavy mother tongue influence, we must make use of our time available so that our English becomes a neutral accent. If our vocabulary is not rich, as I explained in another video, build your own vocabulary. So take measures to improve the vocabulary. So that way, communication issue can be sorted out. There is no problem. Effort is required because, in spite of having the expertise, in spite of having the good resume, we fail on such. small things it is waste of our uh, experience so perception needs to be tackled by our efforts what is the other person's mind we can't do anything about it that is sheer luck we should not fall prey because we have not made an attempt to overcome the problems that may arise so please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon because i keep making videos specially for freshers for cracking a job interviews and uh, wish you all the best in your job seeking and uh, if there is anything that i need to make videos on please put it in the comment box thank you so much